Hey guys, it's Ann over at Plain Obsessed, and today we're rebuilding the big boy. So, ding dong, the rat is dead, and I started up some of the bedding in here, some leaf bedding. Got it nice and wet, damp, what have you. And today is going to be its first feeding, uh, and also the addition of worms. So what I'm going to do first is I have about a one gallon or two gallon, I don't know, what does this say? 60, oh no, six quart. So that's like two gallons. And this is mostly coffee. So I'm just going to sprinkle that on top. I'm going to pull the fruit off first so that when I bury the food that I, I bury all the fruit up really good. Don't need to add fruit flies to the plague of 2020. So just kind of moving everything coffee wise, putting it on top, putting the bananas and apples off to the side. And it looks like that is pretty much what there is, is apples and bananas in the fruit department. So I don't have any grit in here as of this moment, but um, it is from outside. These leaves were scraped up off the ground, so chances are it's got some naturally occurring grit in it. So I'm going to dig down here in the middle for right now. I don't think I'm going to do the wedge method again. That was, that didn't turn out how I liked it. So I'm going to put the apples and bananas here in the middle, make sure they're dug in pretty good, cover them up, and then let me grab the inhabitants. So I have been sifting out all the remnants of the various bins that I had to combine in order to uh, rescue everybody from the rat. And what I have right now is a five gallon bucket of Overs, that's what I call it. Let me show you over here. So this is what I consider to be overs. It went over the screen and uh, everything that was harvested went in here. And so there's quite a bit of worms in here. But my plan is to just take you with me over here. And I'm going to dump the whole thing in here. Let me see if I can put you down. Hold on. So this should not only be a source of worm population, but also this will be a good start to the microbes in the bin as well. I did let the leaves and everything sit for quite some time, but um, I did not do my usual prepared bedding. So this is what I'm doing right now so that everything gets covered with old castings and worms. Maybe there's a pound in there, um, but I think calling that a pound is probably generous. So we'll see what it does. So today's December 30th, so we'll see. We'll look in this in about a week and see what we're doing. But being that it is winter, I am going to cover this up with the bubble wrap really well. And then, hopefully, I can start to rebuild my worm population and all of my different wormery-based projects. So just a, a quick video for the beginning, for the start of the big boy uh, for 2021. If you like the video, give me a muddy thumbs up. And if you're not already a member of my worm family, click that subscribe button. And if you want to know what I'm doing, when I'm doing it, ring that little bell icon. Alright guys, thanks for hanging out with me and my worms, and everybody have a good day.